Well, hello. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. <laughs> yes, I am. I know I have been missing. I know. Where have I been? Yeah, well, a lot of things have happened since I spoke to you last. I have been on the lives because I didn't have a problem with that camera. Yeah. As you may remember, um, I'm looking to the left because I've got the window. I'm still in the same place. I'm just on a different chair. And I've still got the window that way, which, if, you know, I get distracted very easily. You know, shiny, shiny, get distracted. Anyway, where have I been? First of all, you know I had trouble with the camera. Um, I couldn't get it to upload. There was a couple of videos that I completely made and couldn't upload, and they just went to the four winds. So I'm way behind with what I was doing. Secondly, we've had a lot of swapping around done in the house. We're having a bit of reconstruction done. We've had the uh, the driveway redone. We've had in this room swapped around. I did do a little video on that, showing it how it was all moved around. So that took it a while. Then I had toothache, and um, if you remember, the tooth that that lovely lady dentist that I did not like filled. She filled it over the top of decay, so of course I got a tooth infection, had to go on antibiotics, and finished up having to have the tooth took out. But he was lovely, the new dentist, he was lovely. Took it out, no problem. No problem at all. Then I had the problem where I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Which doesn't help if you're a crocheter and you're supposed to be reading a pattern. Couldn't. Couldn't see a tap. Even with you know, glasses that were magnifying three times, whatever. And I had this fuzzy film over the eyes that were like, everything was covered like with Vaseline over my eyeballs. Anyway, you, you know I'd been to see the optician and they said they couldn't do anything, they couldn't give me glasses, couldn't do anything. That I needed my eyes lasering. And um, I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to have to wait ages for that. Anyway, I didn't really. I had to wait about a month. And uh, I went yesterday. Now, they are not still 100%, but she did warn me that they could still be, you know, I could have floaters, I could have all sorts of things. Uh, I must admit, you know, she was a little bit mm, touchy. I have this eye condition where my eyes flicker. Yeah. Massive exaggeration. They flicker before they focus. Yeah. So, according, you know, you go in this very easy the treatment for the lasering. Don't worry about it if you need to hear what's doing. You put your chin on this thing and she's like look forward look forward I thought I am looking forward what's she going on about look forward you're moving she said if you keep moving I can't do the lasering because I might do more damage than good and I said I'm not moving she said well you are and eventually she said well look to the right then so I looked to the right and she said oh now you're focusing Anyway, I thought, not arguing the toss, not arguing. So she zip, 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 zip. She does the eye. Comes to the left eye, which is very sensitive to light. And they shine a very, very bright light in your eye. And I'm like, oh, and she goes, stop moving. I've told you before, if you don't stop moving, it's not going to work. And I'm like concentrating like mad with my eyes wide open, like staring at her. And again, it was the same thing. Look forward, look forward. You're not looking forward. I am looking forward. Looking as forward as I look. Well, look to the right then. Eyes to the right. Now you're looking forward, I thought. Eh? <laughs> Is it me that's got squint vision or was it her? I don't know. Anyway, eventually she... So then I gets up from the chair and I thought, oh God, this hasn't worked. I can't see anything now. And I'm looking around the room thinking, oh, <laughs> I'm going to be one of the failures. I can't do it. Anyway, she gave me a tissue because, you know, my eyes were streaming because of the light. And um, I said, do I have to have a follow up or anything? You know, what do I? She said, oh, no, 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 you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Might take a couple of days for it to settle down. You may see floaters, but that's quite natural, quite normal for you to see floaters. Don't bother about it. I thought, well, I normally see floaters, so, you know, I, I'm normally sort of watching me floaters go by, you know. If you've had them, you know what I mean. So, um, she said, but your vision should be cleared. 
Now I have to say it isn't but then again it was only yesterday and she did say it might take a couple of days for it to settle down. I'm having slight little blurry patches but having said that my vision across the road is absolutely superb yeah. I'm just having a little bit more trouble you know reading phone but you know how tiny the print is on the phone yeah. Tiny tiny. So I am having a bit of trouble with that. Anyway, the upshot of it is really, I haven't actually been doing a whole lot of crochet or anything in between. I will show you what I have been doing. I have been crocheting little squares that are going to turn into, hopefully, she said, hopefully, in, that's got a different pattern to it, into fingerless mitts. I found this pattern for a fingerless mitten. Woo, here we go that's got a button on it. You have to put a button there to hold it together. It's not got the button on yet. So I did that pair, then I thought, oh, I'll do them without the button. I'll do them just, you know, without that split. Because not everybody wants a drafty bit around their thumb. So I made them uh, without that bit, without the bit at the bottom, but they're quite tight. So obviously that's for somebody with a slim, I've got quite fat digits, you know, I've got to hold on my hand up, I've got little fat hands. So they're obviously for somebody with a slimmer hand. So I put more stitches on. I haven't sewn it together, so I put a couple more stitches on. So hopefully this one, oh I've got it upside down, never mind. This one will be a little bit more, what's it? Anyway, I had a bright idea. Oh, if you want to know what pattern I use for the one with the button on, I think it's here. Is it? Oh, is it here? It's called My Little Nifty Little Wrist Warmers. And it's by, oh, here we go, I can't really see that good. Uh, Hooky Bren Studio. I obviously found it some time ago because it was in my shed. I did go in the shed, by the way, yeah. Oh, I have got an update. I have got an update. You know, I was looking for a knitting machine and I was not wanting to buy an expensive one. Well, I went to Knit Club and one of the ladies there had got this knitting machine. Well, she'd got two, actually, that she'd found in the loft of her late mother-in-law's place. Brought them home and she said one of them's not working. Yeah. Anyway, all the girls at Knit Club, well, two or three of the girls at Knit Club, avid machine knitters so they know what they're talking about they had a look at this here machine and they decided it needed a sponge bar if you're a machine knitter you know what i mean it's a little bar that goes across that holds the needles down that enables you to knit so that was it they were sorted then they sorted another one so she said oh i only need the one she said you don't know anybody who wants a machine so i'm carrying on crochet and somebody said janet wanted a machine not long ago didn't you janet and i went um, yeah yeah she said, oh, this one needs to be cleaned. It needs a really good clean and it needs the rust, a little bit of rust. Not a lot of rust, just a little bit of rust. So she said, do you want it? So I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have it, yeah. So anyway, it's in the shed at the minute because uh, I haven't had the time to look at it or clean it properly or do anything properly because, you know, I had all the eye business going on. I ordered a sponge bar that arrived yesterday, so that'll have to go into the shed and whatever. But I'm not, we're having a bit of um, building work done in the house, only mine and building work done, but I thought, well, I'm not going to start messing, you know, anything with the knitting machine. It's not urgent, if you know what I mean, I'll need to do it later. So that'll be something I can show you once I've cleaned it and sorted it out. And it's, uh, I believe it's quite an elderly machine, but that does not distract from it because I only really wanted a very, very basic one. And while we're on the subject of that, I am going to go into the shed actually and take out one of my little round abbey machines. Because I'm crocheting away these, oh, she's going to start barking in a minute. <laughs> Good girl, it was only my, it was only my, Matt. Good girl, sit down darling. Now I've moved the sofa here, she can actually get up on the sofa to look out the window. I don't mind. She's not spoiling anything. Yeah. Anyway, back to the 
adding machine and I thought well crocheting away here with these and I thought maybe I can use my little addy to do some little plain pieces just to make into wrist warmers. So watch this space. We are doing a craft fair, Sarah my friend and I, uh, on the 4th of November in the place that I normally have done them before. Um, but I'm not taking any of my garments. I'm still not knowing what to do with all these crochet garments. I do have to sell them in some shape or form. But I don't have a web page at the moment and, I don't, and I'm not using Etsy because I'm absolutely fed up to the back teeth with all the amount of charges that they put on. I think it's roughly about 20% when they've done, which is more than I make for crochet in the flipping things. So at the moment, I'm, they're just by the by. So I thought, what can I do? I'm just going to do little bits and pieces. My friend's got all these Christmas ornaments, which are fantastic, and she's selling them so cheap, I don't know why they didn't sell in the first place but anyway that's another by the by mystery yeah so I thought what can I do besides I've got hats already made up I've got some hat and scarf sets already made up I thought wrist warmers headbands small items and I thought dolly clothes hmm. Barbie is all the rage at the moment because of the film so I went on to eBay and I bought some pseudo Barbies whatever. I don't know yet whether I will sell the doll as well as because this poor little doll, the little girl who had it before me, obviously did something weird with its hair. Anyway, I knitted her a wedding dress, but that did take me ages, so I thought that's not going to, not going to fly, is it, you know, um, keep making them. I put little decorations on them, you know, at the bottom. I thought that's going to take too long to knit those, so what did I do? I've got a bag. Oh, I'll show you some of the dolls. I mean, they arrived. Um, they're quite nice dolls, some of them. They've just been a bit tatty with the hair. And they've not got any clothes on, so I'll <laughs> turn them round and not show their bits off. But um, I've got quite a few of these. These were the ones I got from Timu with the hands drop off. And... Um, Oh, I can show you one that's got clothes on. They came with tatty hair and tatty clothes. This dress looks okay, but it's all ripped. Um, but I also got some... She's got another one that's got... I think somebody must have handmade these dresses. Because, but look at the hair. <laughs> Unless I can do something with the hair. Um, I also got... There's another one there that's dresses falling off her. I got these dresses anyway. And I also got some rather cute ones. I think they were called Brats. I'm not sure but what they were called. They've got the very big eyes. I mean, somebody who's into dolls will probably tell me what they are. Anyway, I don't know whether I'm going to be selling the dolls or selling just the clothes. But I do have a bag of clothes that I made up. These are some I made earlier. Yeah. I made a li little dresses like that. And um, uh -huh, it's a little headband. The headband goes with that little dress. I'm going to put, I'll take a picture of them all and put them on my Instagram. And of course, every little doll has to have knickers, doesn't there? Yeah. That was the first thing I ever used to do when I was a little girl, and I got a doll to look and make sure it had its knickers on. And if it didn't, I was very upset. That's another little dress I made. It's got a little hat to match. Little hat. And it's also got a little cardigan. Mm -hmm. This little dress doll is is dressed. She's losing her hat. Yeah. And she's got a little handbag because little girls like little bits. She's also wearing her knickers, yeah. And another one that's got her clothes on is that one there. She's got a, a little stole. She's got a dress on with a little stole and a hat. Also got her knickers on. Can't be anywhere without the knickers on. Oh, the little dress I, I showed you before. 
that one comes with a little cardigan and a little pair of knicks, yeah. This one is waiting to have its buttons sewn on, a little hooded jacket that comes with trousers, like a little ski suit, so little trousers. And I also made a duffel coat that it's got little trousers to go with it. So I have been busy and this one isn't stitched up yet. It's got sleeve to be put in. It's another little pink hoodie tracksuit with little trousers. So I have been busy doing something. I have just not been busy doing what I should have been doing, <laughs> which was anything big. No, there's nothing in that bag. I'll be using my project bags for a change. I found them all in the shed, actually. I found my project bags in the shed. So hopefully I will get round to putting some of these little things on the dolls. As I say, I haven't decided whether I'm just going to sell the little garments on their own, which would be just, just a couple of quid, really, you know. I'm just using oddments, uh, or whether I'll sell them with the doll, because the dolls are not new. So I don't know how people would feel about buying a doll that was second hand, you know. Um, but obviously if I'd have bought the real Barbie, I mean flipping heck, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to sell the actual Barbie plus, you know, plus the clothes, because it would have been so expensive, yeah. So anyway, as I say, the wedding dress took me forever to knit. But I had had a thought that maybe, you know, if I had have had my knitting machine working, which I won't have before the craft show, I could have done the, you know, the bottom bit there on the machine and then just done the other bits by hand. But that was just a thought, yeah. Uh, that reminds me of one of my mother's sayings, I don't know why. She used to always say, fathered a muck cart and thought it was a wedding. And I thought, that's a strange saying. Yeah. Oh dear. I also bought a, a crochet book, but it was the magazine and I didn't bother doing an open with me because if you watch cr uh, Crochet Rocks, Tracy, she did an open with me of the same magazine that I bought. I think it was Inside Crochet and she did a far better review than I would have ever done. So... I left her to it, <laughs> you know what I mean, I thought there's no point me doing it. I haven't bought any more books, um, I have bought a book to read which is uh, Richard Osman, it's called The Devil, what is it? Oh, The Last Devil to Die, it's from the series about the Thursday Murder Club, um, my daughter-in-law doesn't like them but I quite like them, you know. Oh, that one's got somebody's tied its hair at the top <laughs> with a little scrunchie. I mean, the dolls are fine. They're okay. They're not grubby or dirty or anything. It's just that their hair's a bit wild, you know. Perhaps if I washed their hair and, you know, put them in comfort, you know, so fabric softener or something like that, you know, it might uh, rejuvenate them. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows about that? Anyway, what else have I been doing? Not a lot, really. Visits to the dentist, visits to the eye surgery. Um, oh, I did go to, I think I went to the, told you about, I think that was a video that did take. But I told you I'd been to the opticians and they couldn't give me glasses because of the situation with my lenses. So I do need to... Um, rebook but I'm leaving that actually in a minute because I've got such a lot of expense coming up this next month. Uh, as you know I went to Ikea, I think I did, did I tell you about that? I don't know. It might have been on one of the videos that went to the Four Winds. We went to Ikea, um, it was in Warrington so it seemed to take forever to get there. I am not a good motorway traveller. I don't like motorways. I never did when I was driving. I would always go the other way around, you know, the alternative route, the scenic route, going through towns and everything. It took me ages to get anywhere, but I did not like going on motorways. So even though my son is a brilliant driver, absolutely, I would trust him with my life. Well, I do, don't I? Um, I still don't like motorways, yeah. 
So I tend, and of course the eyesight was blurred, so everything was like giving me a headache. So I was closing my eyes all the way there. And then my son had said, do you want to take your little folding scooter to Ikea? Ikea, whatever it's called. And I said, no, I'll be fine. I'll just push the trolley around. Forgetting, of course, how huge these places are. Yeah. So by the time I got halfway round, you know, you go through all the things you don't want, don't you? The bedding, the furniture, the everything. Before we got to the bookcases, which is what I'd gone for. Anyway, I did get a rug. Well, I, if you looked at the video I made of showing around the room, showed you the bookcases, showed you the rug. Um, so that was <laughs> my part of my holiday money gone. Um, anyway, since I come back, I've decided I want doors on the bookcases. So my son said, "Well, I'm not going now. I'm not going now." Uh, I said, "No, there's no point. Give me time to save up, you know." Um, anyway. I also decided I wanted Chester drawers. The drawers in my, uh, I've got fitted wardrobes that have got integral, that's a big word, integral door, drawers inside them, which are about that big. And three pairs of knickers and they're full, you know? Three pairs of knickers, three bras and they're full. So I need a good chest of drawers. And that's where the alterations to the house are coming in, but I'll tell you about that later when it all happens. Yeah. But he's starting the work on the 4th of November. Is it the 4th of November? No, the 4th of November is when I'm having the craft fair. Not me, on me own, me and Sarah. And uh, the 6th of November is when the building work starts. So that is why I am not really doing much. Yeah. And then this morning I just went into the bathroom and it faces the sea. Well, not actually facing the sea, there's houses in between, but it faces the side where the sea is. And the window must have been open and it looks like the sand from the Sahara has blown into the bathroom. Because I'm looking and I thought, even with my eyesight, I'm thinking, there's grit everywhere. It's all over the window, bottom everywhere. It's even in the base of the shower. And it wasn't there yesterday morning when I had my shower to go to, you know, the eye surgery. Admitted I didn't have a shower this morning. <coughs> Got up late, decided a strip wash would be fine. Anyway, I'm like, there's grit everywhere. So guess what I'll be doing this afternoon? I'll be clearing grit off everything. It's, I don't know, it's like the wind from Sahara must have blown in. It happened once when I was in Presswich. All oh, this sand suddenly blew and they kept saying, oh, it's from the Sahara. And I'm thinking, I don't live anywhere near the sea. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't in Presswich. Nowhere near the sea. I thought, how can it? And it was, grit was over all the cars and everything. Anyway, it's landed all in my bathroom. As I say, the window must have been cracked a little bit open. Because I do tend to open it when I'm in a shower. So you don't get the condensation and the mould in yeah. So I thought, oh, did I leave it? I'm sure I didn't leave it open when we went out yesterday. Because we all went out. We went shopping to get a bits of food in um, before I went to get my eyes done. Because Irene had said, I'll take you afterwards. I said, no, don't take me afterwards because I don't know how my eyes will be. So it was a bit of an experience going before I had my eyes done because I couldn't see where I was going and I couldn't read anything. And I'm saying to her, that is highway. I bake water biscuits. He said, yes, it says there. And I'm like, well, I can't see, you know. So that was an experience in itself, you know, which uh, which aisle's got the soup in, you know. <laughs> I was like Mr. Magoo, you know. Anyway, hopefully, you know, like we said, when the eyes settle down, I'm going to give them a couple of days before I call it. And there's this side here, I'm getting, if I go like that, it's not too bad, but the glare from the window. But this is my most sensitive eye that's sensitive to light. So we'll see how we go with that. And of course the cold weather is playing havoc with my arthritis, yes. Uncle Arthur rears his head whenever it goes cold. Oh boy, oh boy, have we had a lot of rain. I can tell, even when I'm lying in my nice warm bed, I can tell you if it's raining. Because my hip and my back and my knee goes, hello! 
You think you'll get to look, don't you? And I'm going to go chappity chappity chap at you. So I can tell you, I don't have, I've got weather vane bones. <laughs> no one is cold. I have had the fire lit, my log fire lit, quite a few days and I must get some new, um, I'm just checking I've got grot, grot around me, I've, I've had an egg. Um, I need to get some more logs, boy they put them up as well for the price. <sighs> Everything is going up isn't it? You're scared to put the heating on because the heating does go up. Getting the logs and the coal, that's all gone up, you know. Ah, I'll never be rich. It's a good job I never intended to be rich, isn't it? It's a good job I'm not the avaricious kind. Because, as you know, I get nothing hardly, peanuts from my YouTube videos. I don't know whether my settings are wrong. I've tried to get in touch with YouTube, tried to ask them questions. And you get bots and you get people. And they never know what they're earth you're talking about. And they're just saying, oh, well, you know, it's only an estimate and it's all this. But my estimate for what I earn, not a lot, but what I earn, goes down instead of up. And I'm like, what is going on? Something must be wrong. Yeah. I'm getting the views. I'm getting the subscribers. Thank you very much, subscribers. My loyal fans who stay with me through thick and thin, I really appreciate you. In case I don't say it often enough, I do appreciate you. Um... But I don't get the money. Still, I watch other people's videos and think, are they a lot more exciting than I am? Are they a lot more thrilling? Do they have more content? You know, what can I do to make my, con you know, my content more peppy? I mean, I'm not in a position anymore to buy a lot more wool, you know, yarn, whatever you want to call it, because I'm not using it. I've got a shed for stuff. I don't buy crochet books because, as you can see from my video showing my room, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, six shelves of crochet books. Do I need any more? No, don't need any more. I have started getting the odd crochet magazine here and there, but as I say, when it arrived, my camera wasn't cooperating. And then I noticed that Tracy had done an open with me for the inside crochet, the one I just bought, so I thought I don't need to. All I need to do is tell people to go and have a look at hers, open with me, inside crochet. And uh, it saves me, doing <laughs> saves me doing a video, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this video actually uploads. Oh, here we go again. Oh, and that's telling me I can't find my phone now. That's telling me to shut up. So anyway, I'm sorry I've been missing for such a long time. And I hope you stay with me. And I hope I won't be as long making a video in the future. So bye for now.